Good evening, boys and girls. It is Miss Underwood, and I have my PJs on, and I am getting ready for bed. And the story I have picked for our good night story is Lola at the Library. And in case you did not know, Lola is a series. And a series of books means that there is more than one. So Lola is a character. She is a main character, and who remembers a main character is one that is at the center of the story. That's right, they're the ones that the story is mainly about. And so you can get more than one book about Lola if you like Lola. Now Lola, in this particular story, is at the library. And this series is written by Anna McQuinn and Rosalind Beardshaw. And we are going to find out about Lola's adventures at the library. Now, library is a hard word for some of us to say. It's library. So, there's a lot of R's in there together. And so, we have to slow down when we say that word and say library. And so, we're using our stretchy snake when we say that word. And so this is a good good book for us to practice some of our reading Beanie Baby strategies too. So that's one of the reasons why I picked this book because I know how much you have been practicing at home and your brains have been growing, growing, growing. And so I am so proud of you. So let's get started with our story. Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, Lola and her mommy go to the library. The library opens at nine o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She pulls all the books she borrowed last week. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. See, she's got her card. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week, and the librarian buzzes them through the machine. And the librarian at our school is Miss Salisbury. And she does that at our school too, doesn't she? When you bring her a book back, she checks it back in. There is a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says, shh. Sometimes there is singing. Lola knows all the words and the hands for Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I bet Lola is smart like you are. Sometimes there is story time and Lola loves that. After story time, Lola chooses her books. In the library, she can have any book she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many, it takes ages to choose. What's, what kind of books do you like? Miss Underwood likes books with little girl characters and little boy characters. And I like books with basketball. Yeah, there are lots to choose from. We all can like different kinds of books. That's right. All right, let's find out the rest. Mommy has some books too. The librarian buzzes them through the machine then stamps the date inside. Lola must bring them back in two weeks, but she will probably be back 
for more long before that. I bet because she reads, 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 and loves it. That's right. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam. Mmm. Then it's time to go home again. Every night after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. It's the best way to end the day. Lola thinks that reading a book is the best way to end a day. And Miss Underwood kind of agrees with Lola. I think she has it right. Reading a book is most definitely one of the best ways that you can end the day. Now remember we learned a little bit about Stretchy Snake. When there's a lot of R's together, we've gotta be certain that we're saying all the sounds that are in the word are not inserting sounds that aren't there. And like a word like library, it's really hard to make sure that you say those sounds right, but I know you can do it because you are smart and you can do hard things and you don't give up right? You are so right. And you know what else? Miss Underwood loves you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I cannot wait until tomorrow because I have a very special book to read tomorrow. You are going to love them. And there might be a special like surprise. So you don't want to miss out on tomorrow's story times. I love you. And I cannot wait to talk to you tomorrow. But as Lola says, the best way to end the day is reading the book. So we have read our book for the end of the day. And Miss Underwood is going to bed. So good night, boys and girls. And I will see you in the morning.